We're at the airport and uh, we are not not able to take the RV on this one. There's no roads to where we're going. Where are we going? Bukiagvik. Bukiagvik. Barrow, Alaska. So we're uh, flying out of Anchorage. It's about a two hour flight. Uh, they have a single flight from Air Alaska that flies in daily. And uh, we'll be there for 25 hours and then we'll be flying out. But we're gonna take you with us and uh, All right, let's do we can see what's going on. So it's good to get a cross check on everything since it's been a minute since we've all traveled together like this. Uh, you know, you want to make sure you get your boarding pass. And you didn't leave your keys anywhere, your GoPro, your drone, any of that. Just to make sure that you're, you're ticked and tied, yeah. So now we're heading to gate C. We're going to grab some lunch. And then we're, uh, we're on a short uh, hour and a half, two hour long flight to our destination. Barrow, Alaska. Right. Or Boot Kiagvik. Boot Kiagvik. It's exciting. Yeah. So we decided to walk from the airport to the hotel. We're staying at Top of the World Hotel. And it's a mile walk. We did a little bit of detouring, kind of walk around. We walked by the high school. We walked by uh, one of the memorials for um, Will Rogers and Mr. Wiley, which happens to be from Grand Saline, where Mandy was born. That was pretty interesting. And uh, now we're, we're walking up on it. So there was a wicked line walking into this place. So we walked right into the uh, Nigabic put. A little return before we go. What? You wanna go up these stairs right here? Let's go up the stairs. Okay, so interesting situation here at the hotel. The systems are down. What does that mean? No, the key. The key systems are down. So they have to unlock the room for you. And when you leave, they have to let you back in. Pretty wild, huh? thickens we ordered a confirmation with two beds it was at this moment that he knew he up guess what happened guess what happened what i guess we have guess here. what happened what? daddy okay. made a boo-boo i don't think i did yeah i'm about to pull up the website and we'll show a deluxe room with two beds in it 
<laughs> yeah, bro. But we'll see. So we made it to Top of the World Hotel. It was an adventure all getting into our room all by itself. Apparently I made a mistake. Or I didn't. We're gonna find out, but we have four people and this one bed for one night. I think it's gonna be fine because we're supposed to be, you know, here, which is, this isn't like a luxury location. You're not supposed to be like lavish lifestyles. Although when we got here, we had a really nice dessert and a Is cup it? of coffee. So I think we'll make it one night. This is a California King. Um, oh, I'll probably sleep right there. No, I'm gonna sleep right here. Getting better by the minute. Yeah. This is a really nice hotel room. Let's just go ahead and walk you around real quick. Here. That is the uh, um, ionizer. That is the, the lamp. Here we um, have a chair. Polly's um, utilizing the chair at the moment. Um, we have a dresser, I'm not television, high like definition. That. Another lamp, a desk over here. We have a closet with more pillows and a blanket. Dad, I need those pillows. We have a couch right here where he's gonna hang out. And then my favorite part, we have a flushing toilet that doesn't go to a black tank. Look at. We also have a really nice kitchen with a microwave. That is literally the like best part about this, the fanciest part. The fridge, so in case you have some leftovers, you can bring those back. You know, we, we've never been here before, but I hear that the accommodations in Barrow or Utkiagvik, they're not, they're not this nice in most places. Matter of fact, there's not many other places at all. All right, good news. We figured something out right now. It turns into a bed. So if you wanted to sleep there anyway, so he's got his own bed, the three of us will bunk here. It's easy. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna need cheese. Bag of cheese. Can you get me sheets? Go get yourself some sheets. No, get me sheets, please. Come on. From here, we coordinated the things we wanted to do first. Understanding that Utkiadvik is not that big a place, but there's a fair amount to see, we reviewed the list of things and we got ready to go. For those wanting to visit, you should know that there are taxis that could get you around and you should use them. Remember, there are polar bears in the Arctic and they are extremely aggressive. Long walks outside of town, especially without protection, would not be a good idea. We called for a taxi to get to Point Barrow, or the northernmost point of the US, which was about a 20 minute drive out of town. We got so much more than what we were expecting. It was so much more than just a taxi ride. So you've seen polar bears, you've seen a lot. Sometimes yeah. over here too, it's a big, big polar bear. Really? Yeah, that time is uh, they have like a culture, an Eskimo then. Yeah. That uh, they let the people sleep there, but she tried to walk in town. I said, no, 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 don't walk in town. We got a polar bear here. Yeah. When I drop her and I come back, the polar bear is here too. Oh yeah, the leader. It's a real big. If she walk, she feed the bear. But I'm happy that she listened to me. Not walk too. You cannot mess with polar bears. Oh.
Polly, that's a well. After he drove us out to Point Barrow to do the drill, he showed us the remains of the baby whale and then took us to touch the Arctic Ocean. Highlight here, right? So it needs to know how to eat here. So this was a baby whale. Yeah. And this is, that's towards the front, right? Bull hit, bull hit whale, yeah. So that's where the skull will be. And you can set, that's where it gets, it gets the krill and the, it, it filters in what it eats there. Uh, it seems like a, like a, do like a hen, right? Yeah. Or uh, for the fish to the mouth. Okay. Yeah. They use the baleen. They call baleen. So yeah. the polar bears don't like eating that part? No. Eat that part. Oh, the ocean is really calm. Yeah. Super calm. Yeah. So this baby whale got stuck up here is feeding and uh, this is where it finished and uh, apparently the polar bears do not like the head so this will eventually will be a whale skull just sitting on the beach in the meantime I'm gonna touch the water How is that? It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Did you touch the water, babe? It was literally the top of the world. Yep. <laughs> it's so calm, though. Look, I found another one. Come on. Very good. So you touched the Pacific, the Atlantic. The Gulf, the Arctic. Not that cold. Not that cold. So tough. This is dawned on me. My family, our family, has now touched the Gulf, Pacific, the Atlantic, the Arctic. We've been in the Caribbean. We get around. So when you get <laughs> so when you guys are in Ukiagvik, you guys come find Sid. Yeah, he'll uh, take you out yeah, droning. Yeah, come to Barrow. Yeah, come find me. I'm yeah. Sid at Barrow. And he'll take you around. Yeah, he'll take you here. Uh, welcome to. Let me know what you need. Then he drove us back to town, where he showed us around a bit more, and we were able to see and learn some things that were on our list, like the college called Iliogvik College, and he explained the polar bear warning system in town. Did you guys hear that? What's that? So there, it's a, like a polar bear warning system that they have out here. Yeah, it polar bears around, around one mile. Oh so they, they're warning. They have the, the license. That's crazy. So back in Texas, we have tornado sirens. <laughs> yeah. In uh, southern Alaska, there's tsunami sirens. Uh -huh. Here, there's polar bear lights. So we're gonna make sure that the uh, the channel that Sid has is down below. Check it out. Okay. He's got some uh, he's got some material that you're gonna want to see about the area uh -huh. here as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's part of this whole lifestyle is that we're out here meeting new people, making new friends, and now we got uh, our buddy Sid up here in uh, Barrow, Alaska. Now we're going to be collabing with a bit, so yeah. when you come to Barrow, ask for Sid at the hotel yeah. and they'll send him your way. They'll okay, take you ask, ask me all my phone number is at 907 367 3381. Call me, I'll talk to me. And when you come, let me know. I'm ready here. We're all welcome about the world. That's awesome. I gotta yeah. tell you, everybody up here has been okay. so friendly and so yeah. nice. Yeah. So uh, all that contact information is gonna be down below. Uh -huh. Make sure that uh, you reach out to Sid when you're up here. Yeah. Our Lungku channel. Go to my YouTube. Lungku channel. L O U N K K R U. Lungku channel. And you find me there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Thanks, man. 
Yeah. 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 To end a great first day, we head back to the hotel and got some dinner, and the portions did not disappoint. Oh, look at this. Let me see. Let me show. It's like a chicken pie. It is. It's massive. Chicken pie chicken. All right, good morning. Uh, last night we stayed at the top of the world and we made the one bed, one pull out situation work. The shower was great. Uh, it's a very comfortable situation here. The, the internet is, uh, you know, definitely doable. About 10 megs down. So if you're looking for for comforts of home, this is this is really good. Right now we're heading down to have some coffee, and then we're gonna get out and see Ukiyabe for a few more hours before we head back to Anchorage, and then drive back to Denali. So uh, pretty excited to be able to check this place out a little bit more. Now, in our opinion, Top of the World Hotel is a fantastic option, probably the option in Ukiagvik. It shows you all of the things that the area has to offer, but provides you enough comfort that if you're not from around there, you feel right at home. And you learn a little something, too. I want one of those, my yeah. size. She's got good style. I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I don't want to go out there without calling Sid. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we, we had breakfast. It was great. They feed you very well here. So we're going to go cool. ahead and get uh, our self over to the Whalebone Arches and then uh, the Heritage Center. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. And then we're going to go to um, wherever Sid takes us, probably to the airport. Do you then, what time uh, do you have to get to the airport? What time? We'll be there by 3. What time is it? It's like 11. That's in 4 hours. Yeah, we got a lot of time. We got a lot of time. <gasps> Thankfully, okay, it's on. you guys are about to get the Arctic right. experience. Yeah. It's cold and windy. When in Yukiagvik, walking around, you will notice right away how the town looks different and how people travel around differently. Yes, there are cars and taxis, and you should use them, but the roads are gravel and dirt. They regularly spray the roads down with water to keep the dirt and dust down. Also, people move around town on four-wheelers, motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and whatever is most practical because of the size of the town and the climate they're in. It's pretty cool. After the whalebone arches, we decided we were going to walk Arrow by starting at the post office, sending a postcard, walking over to the supermarket, and then finally over to the culture center, getting to know Barrow as best we could by foot. share with you the local grocery store because the prices in Ukiagvik, well they're a little different as you might imagine. Access to Ukiagvik is not simple which means the grocery prices, well they can reflect that. The local grocery store isn't just a grocery store. They have everything. Boots, clothing, they have Rhino ATVs. Whatever you might need out here in Utkiagvik, including a sense of humor, 
They have it. So we just left the local grocery store and we checked out some prices and there are definitely some elevated prices in there as one might expect because of where they're located, but you know, not everything. And they do have, they got everything from uh, ATV Rangers in there to or rhinos to uh, cooking oil, furniture, clothing and attire to, to barbecue grills. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like Costco uh, without the bulk pricing. So pretty cool. We are at the Heritage Center uh, here in Utqiagvik and we're going to show you what we can. We're not exactly sure if you can record inside or not, but uh, this place is uh, top marks for uh, the area so it's probably best that since we're visitors here uh, we learn a little bit about the heritage and the culture of the people that have lived here for so long not just the people that are living here now which are really friendly uh, accommodating people uh, but the people that have been here uh, for hundreds and even thousands of years so we'll see what this place has to offer they do allow video recording so we're going to take you with us they invited us in and began showing us around right away. At the beach, but it's eroded and this is also getting eroded. So we serve the food here. There's three wedding crews that are successful. They have their own food. Okay. So I'm going to start in there. You want to keep the dishes no flash? Start to find the three words are down the hallway once you're done. Okay. There's a timeline in this room. Okay. That's awesome. All right. Thank you so much. When V said he wanted to go to Utki Agrik, Alaska for his 14th birthday, we weren't entirely sure what we were getting. This place is so unique and so different than any place we've been before, and the culture is so rich. We're so extremely fortunate to have been able to go. All right, we're back 25 hours later. Let's head on in. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. In our next video, we'll be going to Whittier, Alaska, and covering our time in Denali. 
We're super fortunate to become part of the 30% Club and getting to see Denali without any cloud cover. We'll see you next time.